Welcome back to the show and I'm with Franco Prio from Fresh Air Carpet Cleaning. How are you Franco? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. And yourself? Very good. Now, I think when we talk about carpet cleaning, we probably don't think about colouring your life, but colour your life. It's yeah. incredible what you've been up to. Yeah, yeah. So we've been doing a, a little bit of training um, just up the road as I was. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got mis uh, myself and Carl in to, uh, to do some training with a fellow from the US. Um, had him brought over especially for us to be able to come in and, uh, and, and, and get Carl to learn as much about spot dyeing as I do so that he can do recolouring as well. Yeah. But this guy had a couple of other processes which we've not been able to do before, which is a very interesting technology, shall we say, because not only can we now clean the carpet, but at the same time we can reinstate colour. So it's an actual colour wash. A colour wash. Yeah, so what we can do is actually bring the colour back, because mm -hmm. the, the problem is that you, you normally get around a 5 to 10% fading of the colour each year. I mean, yeah. just, just through env environmental causes, whether it be sunlight, pollutants, just general wear mm. and tear. So you find, especially in traffic areas, you take the furniture out and all of a sudden you've got a real disparity in colour. Yes. So yeah, you probably <laughs> notice that. So we can clean it, yep. and it'll be clean as a whistle, but there'll still be a difference in mm. colour. So we can now actually get a process happening where we can reinstate that colour wow. um, or get to the point where we can actually uh, fully recolour a room or even change colour. Wow. Of as long as you go into a shade that's a little bit darker, yep. then, uh, then we can do that. But um, yeah, it's a, like I said, it's a very interesting technology, which is a, a new little challenge for us and a new little mark that we can, uh, can tap because there's lots of faded carpets out there. We see them daily. Absolutely. I mean, and one thing I like about you, you you're always looking for that next thing you can bring to the customers. But I, I do know that you've been able to match colours before when yes. they've had spots. And like you get a stain, you go, right, we can clean that up and if it's been bleached or whatever, and you merely recolour it. That's right. But this is going one step further. This is going several steps further, actually. Right. Um, because we can get a much more accurate colouring now because so we've also got a new app which will actually take a photo of the the uh, pre-existing colour, or the colour yeah. it's meant to be, and the faded out colour, and then match it accordingly. So it will tell us wow. how much colour we need to, to use. So we can actually get a much more accurate result um, and quite uh, reasonably quickly as well. So, so rather than the old school method I used to do, which is just using these things, yeah, yeah, um, which, which can be a bit challenging in certain lighting conditions, mm. uh, whereas with the app it gives you a much more accurate reflection of what you need to be able to use to get the wow. colour back to where it needs to be. Now, does it require big specialist machinery? How is this? Because I remember when mum used to dye my t-shirt, she'd roll them up and throw them in the washing machine with, yep. <laughs> with, with, a, dye, with a dye thing. Yeah, so but, this is not so much um, uh, machinery related, it's more product related and the technique that you need to do to be able to get a good even coverage on it. Because there's no right. point just going around and going, oh yeah, throw a bit of dye in it and have a lot dye here and a little bit of dye there. Yeah. It, it needs a certain hand and a, and a good eye to be able to make sure that you're actually doing the job properly. So someone who's got carpets now and probably thinking, geez, they're about ready for a change out because of all my faded yeah. spots, like as you said, traffic areas. And they probably looked and went, well, if it was a little spot, we'd probably get that fixed by Franco, but this is a bit big. Yeah. But this has just changed the game. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, and in fact, uh, the, the fellow that came over, his name is Chris Howell, he, uh, he actually uh, said, oh, you know, we need some, obviously some carpet to practice on. So I approached one of the suppliers I know and said, do you have some really nasty carpet? <laughs> and they delivered, oh boy, <laughs> it was nasty. When <laughs> <laughs> you're nasty, Frank, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, nasty. It's like, if, if we're gonna go bad, we'll go really bad. So yeah. we, we, we uh, got this carpet, it's a full house worth of carpet that we laid out in the facility. Wow. And um, he took one look at it and went, Yes, just perfect what we want to do with. So right. we actually, uh, I mean, to, to clean it would have been a challenge. Yeah. Uh, these carpets were in a, in a hell of a state and that's why they'd been pulled up. Mm. But overall, it wasn't a wear issue, they just looked terrible. So the carpet itself stood up, because carpet does stand up, doesn't it? It, it yeah. wears really, really yeah, well. Yeah, in particular when you've got nylon carpet, and this really only applies to nylon and wool, you can't right. recolor polyesters or your triesters or your, your poly, uh, your, sorry, your, um, uh, your polypropylenes. Okay. They won't accept colour. All right. Okay. Uh, whereas your nylons and your wools will, which is the majority of the market anyway. Mm. Um, yeah. Some of the polyesters are starting to come in a bit more strongly now, but 
Uh, even though they have their own issues and they can be, get bleach, but they can't yep. be re-dyed, but there is a cheap method we can do with that, which I won't go into. There we I'm going to give away trade secrets, but yeah, if you have a faded spot, we yep. can't do a colour change, but I can do a, a, a fair degree of colour reinstatement with those. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, with, the, with that grossy piece of carpet, um, honestly, uh, especially after the carpet was... was uh, was done um, and we gave it the 24 hours to dry out. I came back and looked at it and just went, oh my God, I couldn't believe that it actually would come up as well as it did. Really? Given the fact that we didn't actually clean it, it is called a color clean process. Oh, okay. So it's made of color and cleaning one. At the same time. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, I, said, I found it a little bit hard to believe because a, yes. a lot of big claims being made there, but you know, there was a lot yeah. of people that say that he And you've been in the industry for a long time. Well, believe it or not, last Monday was 30 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you've seen a few things. So you actually yeah. know when things are a bit too good to be true. Yeah, well, yeah, you always take everything with a bit of a pinch of salt. Yeah. Um, but then, I mean, yeah, he, he came out and, uh, and, and showed us how the system works and uh, how, how to apply it properly, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the, as I said, the, the results were really quite surprising. I'm not going to say the carpet came up perfectly because it can't. There's always going to be that bit of wear mm. in there, but the colour was back to where it was supposed to be. And that's the thing that surprised me at most of how clean they came up and how bright they looked after being done. So I suppose if you're looking, and I'm thinking like rental properties, they get a yeah. bit of wear and tear and get a bit of hammering in a rental property. Yes. Yeah. And it, it is expensive. I mean, that's an expense for someone who's renting. Yeah. You know, and they're going, geez, I've got to replace my carpets every four or five years because they do get hammered. But this thing can actually brighten and freshen these carpets up. That's right. So the new tenant coming in goes, because carpet does pop, doesn't it? When you walk into a lovely house with lovely carpet. Oh, if you have a nice floor covering, it, make, it makes the house. If you have a really dingy looking floor covering, you know, same as the paint on the walls. If the, if the carpets look great, but the paint looks terrible. It still drags the house down. Yeah. So if you can get everything presented nicely, it just, it really does draw the eye and think, make you think, oh, yeah. well, this is a nice place to be in. Wow. Jeez. So, expensive? Not compared, compared to, to replacing? Absolutely. No. Oh, God, no. There's not, I mean, if you compare replacement of a carpet yeah. compared to a recolor of the carpet, it's, oh, look, it's the difference near is, it. it's, oh, yeah, it's, it depends on what we've got to be done. We're normally looking at about 12 to $15 per square meter. Well, that's nothing. Well, exactly. It's Jeez. it's not a lot when you consider that most carpets are going to be around the fifty or hundred square meter to replace. I was going to that's say that's just a minimal minimal cost. I mean, the colour yeah. change will cost more than that, but just to do a you know, a quick colour wash. Yeah. Okay. Um, then yeah, you're looking at, depending on the condition about twelve to fifteen a meter. Now you said something interesting there. We've talked about colour wash and getting the colour back to mm -hmm. you know so it looks pop. But you mentioned then, I know you said colour change. Yes. What's this? So if you're got a carpet, look, there's been a few people that um, uh, have got a carpet and they're bored with the colours. Absolutely nothing wrong with the carpet, and especially if it's a really high quality wool carpet. Mm. The carpet's going to last for years and years, but they just look at it and go, huh, oh, really don't like that colour anymore, and I want to change the colours of the house and rah, rah, rah. Yeah. So we can therefore do a colour change. As long as you're going a step darker, we right, can't, we can't okay. make it go lighter. No, because otherwise you've got to take color out, and then yeah. that's that's fraught with all sorts of dangers. Yeah, uh, but certainly adding color to it to change the color, or even just change the tone, or change the color completely. Because um, I'm just thinking of some of these. The when some of the Berbers came out, some of the wool carpets, yeah. they were very very pale, weren't they? They were like that's whitish, right. just off whitish, and cr very very light creamy colors. And I know they get they they attract. You can see the dirt on them. You get them cleaned. So you're saying if you've got a really light carpet, you say, well, I want to change this to my color scheme change. I want to go chocolate brown. Yep. Yeah, well, so, we, can, we can do that. Yep. Wow. It does take a lot of time. We'd have to look yeah. at each job and each, judge each one yeah. individually. So I can't give uh, prices on that. No. Uh, but yeah, certainly so doing you a color can change. change um, color. I mean, one, one of the examples that uh, the, the trainer told us about was he had, hmm. had a woman had, had laid a carpet that had been down one day. Right. And she was in One an absolute tears. I mean, it was a really high-end carpet in a yeah. very you know, um, high-end house as well. Yeah. Um, but when she'd got it laid, the sample she'd got, I mean, when you see a sample, it, it gives you some idea what it's like, but it doesn't give you a complete idea. And of course, mm. when, she, when it laid, it just 
it didn't blend with the colours that she, she it wasn't the colour she thought it was going to be. Yeah. So she wanted it just a tone darker, and that's all it was is just a tone darker to get it to where she thought it was meant to be. Because so that can never, happen, can it? You oh, can yeah, buy something, yeah. you kind of go, because in a small, you probably think it looks darker. Yep. You lay it, and of course, over a broad area, it's, sunlight. It changes, and yeah, air. with different lighting conditions. I mean, I've done the same thing at my own place. I thought, oh, yeah, yeah. this colour looks really great. Splash a bit of colour up on the wall and go, oh, that's not what I expected. That's not what I <laughs> How many of us have done that? We've yeah. done the, we've got, what? Yeah. And that's and, not the and, and, and it's, it's great with the paint. You can just get some more paint and cover yeah. it over. You can't do that with a carpet. Not when you just spent you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars on your house carpet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah. Man. So he was able to go in and just change the tone of that colour slightly that's great. to where she wanted it to be, and everyone was happy again. Wow. So someone that's got a really lightish carpet and they're going, oh, you know, a couple of shades darker would be mm -hmm. really nice because we're doing some different colours on the walls. Then they can just get you in and you can do this toning over the top of that's it as right. well. Yep. Yep. Wow. So yeah, I mean, there are some limitations depending on what your base colour is. Yes. Yeah. But certainly uh, you, you can, uh, we can have a look at it and, and, mm. and ascertain what needs to be done with it. And I think that's fair. I mean, it's like painters, painters say, yeah, I can repaint your house and change the colour. They walk in and the walls have been painted black. <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of go, oh, hold on, <laughs> just yep. a minute. It'll take four tins just to get rid of that dark colour and then we can start it. Well, they've got to put a sealer over the top yeah, and then it over the, so yeah, it yeah, becomes so it's a, a the bit same more than a standard paint job. So it's yeah. the same with carpets. It's, right. it's, it's got the, okay, what are we doing? What are we starting with? Um, yeah. But I've never heard of carpets being recolored. I mean, I, I would have thought, okay, a factory could probably do it with the big machinery. Yep. But in your own home without lifting it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. We don't need to lift anything at all. Just uh, need well, to allow time, obviously, for it to dry and, and yeah. Um, yeah, to be able to make it trafficable again because it does get fairly wet during the process. But right. okay. um, as I said, uh, we, we had those carpets dry again within about 24 hours. So there was a, an island carpet, a wool tape, a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but certainly, yeah, they, yeah, as I said, the, the, the colours of them, I've, I've got now sitting in, in my garage because I'm doing a bit more testing on them as yes, well yes. for for uh, some other bits and pieces that uh, wow. are always, always playing with stuff, yeah. as you know. Yeah, <laughs> in, in the lab. Yeah, the mad labs. <laughs> the yeah. Mad yeah. So, um, yeah, so but, uh, I, I also wanted to do that to, uh, to have a look at the dyes and see how well they do set because, um, I mean, it, it, was, it was quite surprising when he did a demonstration as well that when we put the dyes down, he then stepped onto the, pit, the part that just had died literally that second put down on it and then jumped onto the clean, the, the clean section, or the, yep. the, uh, the, the untreated section, wiped his feet, nothing came off. So That's the dyes nice. just instantly take. Wow. Yep. How do you, you know, I suppose a lot of business people watch you, Franco, and they see, well, you're getting this innovation, you bring these new things in. How do you discover these new things that are going on? Oh, well, it's called the internet. Yeah. Okay, good old <laughs> Facebook, internet pages, uh, and, and just uh, if I have something that I'm interested in, or yeah. think, well, is there some solution out there, I go looking for it. And so there's, oh, there's okay. always that little bit of research happening in the background. I just, I guess I've got an inquisitive nature, and yeah. uh, always look at the, at the better way to build a mousetrap. So, yeah, so when you're looking at recolouring carpets then, because I know that is one of your specialities, repairing yeah. them, recolouring them. Was it because of that you're going, okay, I can do these, and you've done some fairly large patches when I'm doing this, I mean, you've done yeah. some fairly large patches. Well, was it that you're going, I wonder if I could do the whole hallway? Was it those types of well, questions? Well, I know there has been systems around in the past, um, but they've been, well, not, let's not say quite not, got yeah, there. Not, not quite there. Um, you know, sometimes they'd work well, and other times I've actually seen some that you uh, went and cleaned them, for instance, and the colour started dropping out. So, you washed it out again. Well, yeah, not completely, but you no. know, there's enough to, there to, to make an impact on it. And I thought, yeah. well, that's not good enough. Yeah. So there had to be something else out there. Um, and I was going to say with this, is that the next testing you're going to do with these colours and is, is actually do one of your cleans over to well, see whether it holds I'm, fast? I'm, I'm kind of doing that, but I mean, there's lots of other people that have already done it before me. Uh, right, as okay. I said, this, this has been around the US. This guy's been operating uh, for quite some time over the, uh, in the United States and he's done some... Very oh, high end right. work, including uh, stuff at the White House. He's the only person that actually allowed in there to uh, to do their work. Um, and uh, the good old uh, 
Mr. Trump. Yeah, President Trump. He's, uh, he's he's been a regular client as well. So yeah, he's 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 got a lot. Of so he's got a lot of yeah. credibility. Yeah. So he's there. not just um, someone that's uh, coming in and said, "Oh, look at my wonderful system." He's he's got the the, the backup to say that he can actually so, do it. So did you have to actually bring him out yourself then? Yeah. Because I've never heard of anyone else getting this over here. Not well. That's because no one else has. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, so, well, you know, I, I, I wanted to do it, and yeah. I thought the only way I can get him out here, I contacted him um, and, and said, are you interested in coming to Perth? Hmm. And he said... Uh, well, Where's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you knew where we were, at least. That's, that's a good place. Um, but uh, he said, well, I'd love to. I've never been to Perth. He loves travelling. He's yeah. never been to Perth, so why the heck not? Wow. Yeah. So when you did your, which, did you get a, a facility, did you get a warehouse or something to do some of this stuff in? Did you need a big space? Well, we needed a reasonable amount of space, so yeah. Yeah. A couple of facilities uh, in, in Osmond Park that uh, we went to. Right, okay. Um, that had some nice open space where we could lay a lot of carpet out and uh, yeah. have a bunch of people throwing things around the place. Fantastic. And, uh, and, and getting nice, colourful hands. <laughs> <laughs> So you invited some other uh, carpet people in that you that you know, basically through the association. Yeah, yeah. oh, through the, yeah, which yeah. is the uh, the carpet well, cleaning association of WA. Yeah, yes. So there you go. That's another benefit of being a member. Absolutely, absolutely. Look, yeah. we've we've uh, we've got a quite a uh, a rapidly growing membership at the moment because people are starting to realise that heck, we do have a lot to offer mm. uh, between the, the workshops that we do. Um, the discounts that we get and the, the, just sort of the being able to network with people of, of, of a like mind. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, uh, people are starting to recognise that and uh, all of a sudden in the, in the last, well, six months, I guess, we've had probably around about 15 to 20 people join up. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. Jeez, that's a big increase. That's Do you right. find that because you've got that professional association and it's got the credentials, you really do run it professionally, yeah. that people like this gentleman from the US Look at that and go, okay, I'm not dealing with Mickey Mouse in the backyard. I'm actually dealing with some. And it encourages them, they feel more confident in coming out to oh, you. Oh, look, ab absolutely. Um, there's been quite a few instances of that that uh, people have actually commented on the fact that uh, we do run ourselves professionally, we present ourselves professionally, and we do try to get the maximum benefit for all parties concerned, mm. not just our members, but the people we're dealing with as well. Yeah, um, and uh, as he said, he was he was really taken aback. He said that it was probably one of the most uh, the, the the best and easiest approaches that he's ever had because uh, most of the background work was done for him before he even got here. Oh, so right. he literally just had to set up and present, and right. didn't need to worry about any of the other detail. Um, right. Um, so and that, and that's you know the, the strength of the association with being able to talk to other people around the place. We had facilities available to us. Mm. We had lots of members that uh, that were were keen. Yeah, um, and certainly enough to make it uh, worth his while to come out here. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a big win for everyone. That's fantastic. One thing I've got to ask you, and it's probably just touching a little bit on those. Yeah, don't talk about that. But people hear about what you're doing, and if I know people, there's going to be oh, I can do that, and I'll get some dyes, and I'll try copy. <laughs> um, we know it goes on. I'm sure everyone's oh, yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. How how do we spot the difference? Oh, you'll see it. Don't you'll worry, see you'll see it. I've been to some rather uh, amusing situations. Uh, it, wouldn't be, it would have been amusing if it wasn't the fact that it cost them so much money, but where yes. people have actually tried to redye it themselves. Right. And not understanding colours and how they work, you know. They think, oh, well, yeah, red and blue mix purple, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they don't understand the concept of how it's supposed to work on the carpet. Yeah. Um, and then you'll end up with... Um, some interesting variations. Some interesting variations. <laughs> but before you let someone experiment on your carpet and say, yes, I can recolor, does this particular process have a name? Does it have a, okay, when we do, do we have a name that people can go, okay, no, I want this because I know this alone that actually does work? Yeah, well, uh, the name of the company that does the training um, uh, is Colourful Carpets. Right. Uh, from, from the US. Yeah. Um, and Chris Howell is the name of the person that's, uh, that, mm. that actually does the training. Um, as I said, he set up a, a very successful company and now all he does is actually travel the world and train. That's all right. he does. He's, uh, he's now um, uh, on sold his business, which is still running and which mm. obviously he's still uh, um, uh, is, is in contact with them and, and, and gives yes. them guidance. 
Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, as I said, he loves to travel, so that's what he does. He travels the world and teaches. So the people that teach, then he then certifies them to say, yes, you understand it, you can do it correctly. Right. Yeah. So his is a is a very hands on course. Right. There's a, a morning of theory, mm. um, which um, for for the most part, um, particularly with the Geisman Association, it's. I guess more of a refresher than a learning. Yes. Um, yeah. Because there's a, a lot of stuff that does go through, um, which is just about identifying fibres, which we're you know pretty, pretty adept good at anyway. Out. Yeah. Um, so there's that sort of thing, uh, but then there's also a little bit of theory about about colour mm. as well, which obviously is new to a lot of people. But then after that, it's like let's pull those dyes out and then let's go to go to town. So and we start so, reinstating colour. So when someone goes, okay, I want this done on my carpet, mm -hmm. and they're talking. One of the checks is to make sure they've got a certificate or they're accredited with your association. What's some of the checks and balances that can put in place? Because I certainly wouldn't want someone staining my carpet and going, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which mean you're sorry? <laughs> okay, yeah. well, um, I mean, you know, if you obviously look for an association member first and foremost, yeah. then you, that's, that's pretty much your guarantee of some sort of quality assurance because yeah. if there is a problem, they become answerable to the association, mm. uh, and you you'll, you'll get a, a please explain. Please and explain. If, uh, you know, it's only ever happened a couple of times, but there's been a couple of members who uh, got the please explain and didn't explain it well, or weren't willing to change what they were doing, so yeah. they, they weren't reinvited back into the group. Okay, okay. Now you say it takes about 24 hours for this thing to dry. How long does it take to actually? I know it obviously, say you took us to an average lounge room, right, okay. if there's such a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and look, that, that can vary quite considerably as well. Yeah. If you're talking about the straight out application of the dye, yeah. oh, that could probably be done in about half an hour. Right, okay. Okay, so, but then there's the yeah. preparation of it, Yeah. Um, then there's the extraction of it, just the actual application of the dye itself is, is not a big thing, but mm. getting it to the point where it's ready for it. And it works. And it works, because yeah. there's a, a, an actual striking agent that needs to be used, which opens okay. up the dye sites in the fibres uh, and prepares the fibre to accept the dye fully, because uh -huh. without that, guess what happens? Falls out. It falls out again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, as I said, there's been some jobs that I've been to. That's exactly what has happened. Uh, it looks great until you put water onto it, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it all starts to come out. And especially yeah. if you put detergents on there, which we obviously use to clean the carpet. Mm. Um, you know, the stuff that uh, that, that we uh, that we are going to be using is as color fast as original factory dyes. Right. Because they are original factory dyes, essentially. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I was going to ask you then on the colours that you're saying, so someone watching going, I wonder which colours he can do. Are there limits on the colours or is it just as long as they're shades darker or are there... As far as recolouring or changing yeah, colour, changing then, colour, we are limited by what the base colour was to start with. Right, okay. Okay, but I mean if, it's a, if it was a, a, a near white carpet, well then we've got lots of options. Okay. But if he had say a, a medium blue carpet, yes, yes. then we start becoming a little bit more limited. Right. Uh, because, you know, if from medium blue, you're going to go to darker something yes. or other, whether it be a brown or whether it be a darker blue, or do you want to go a purple if yeah. you're that way inclined? Yeah. <laughs> Not my choice, but anyway. Um, but look, Someone yeah. out there's going, I've got purple carpet, what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's personal choice. <laughs> But yeah, it yeah. really is. A, it's it's limited by um, what that base color is, and, and essentially mm. what you are wanting to achieve. Okay. Yeah. So the best thing is when you go out, is someone says, "Look, I've got this car. It's a bit old. It's a bit tired. It needs a freshen up anyway." Yep. And even rather than just having a color wash, I think you said it was. Yep. Let's see about changing the colour and give it a whole new lease of life. Yes. Then they can actually talk to you one on one, and you can actually give them advice on where they can actually take these that's colours. Right. So in that court, that, that case, what we do is actually we, we grab if we've got a sample of the carpet, that's great. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll find a few loose tufts just in the back of the wardrobe. Uh, that's right, exactly. Yes. Um, see, there's I all, do there's always going to always, always yeah. going to be loose tufts somewhere that you can pull out. Yeah. And then we can actually make up a formula, dye those tufts, and say here are the colour options that you have. Oh, okay. So if you want to say, you know, I, I want a, a darker brown, yeah, um, and you've got a blue carpet to start with, okay. Well, let's let's work out the formulation. Yep. Um, there's a certain process we go through. It could be sometimes even uh, well, one of the exercises we actually did was uh, here's a sheet with a whole lot of different colours on it. it. Was actually a pamphlet. I said pick a colour and change that to that. 
Wow. So using that Color Queue app, that's exactly what we did. We just right. looked at that, looked at that, and said, right, okay. We went through a process of getting the actual color right. So it wasn't uh, unless you're extremely lucky. You, yeah. It's pretty hard to get a, a color straight up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for certain for people who want to have that option, um, then there is that that possibility as well. Does the app, when it shows you what the picture is, does the app go from that to that, this is a kind of format, or is that something that has to be a skill that you guys have got? A um, bit of both. Bit of okay, both. Okay, so, I mean, you, you, you look at it, um, mm. and the, you, you take a colour of the carpet mm. as is, yeah. and then you take a colour of the carpet to what it's meant to be, Yeah. okay? And then you basically hit the equal button, and it shows you the tone that you've got to get to. Uh -huh. and, and the color balance that you need to get to to achieve yeah. that coloration. Wow. So then it's just a matter of playing it with the dyes and getting the mix as close to the color as you can. Yeah. Um, and that's that's where the experience pays off. Um, mm. And then trying to get the right color balance so you apply the right tone to that carpet to change it to whatever you want yeah. it to go to. You know, in business, a lot of people, and it sounds absolutely fantastic, but a lot of us get excited and go, I'm going to do this because I think it's great, and then there's no customers for it. Right. So as a business owner, how did you, before you invested this time and money that you've done, make sure there's going to be customers for it? Or is it just from being well, asked? This, this, well, this is from, uh, from 20 years of, uh, of spot dying. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and seeing that, there, that you do get to these carpets that, um, yeah. especially in rental property, for instance, you, you yeah. take the furniture out and you see where the problem areas are. Mm. So if that can be brought back to a good level again, yeah, um, then yeah, it, it, it saves an owner having to rip out the carpet prematurely just because some areas look a bit worse yeah. than, for wear than, uh, than, than, uh, than other areas. Than other areas. So if you can get that evenness over it, it just presents that much better. Wow. Colour colouring you life. Colouring, colouring your life. life. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely sensational. Franco, thanks so much for coming in. Coming in your cup. I it, I've seen the spot stuff and I know you've done it for twenty years, but the whole carpet mm -hmm. is incredible. So one you can wash it and get it get the colour back to what it should be. Yep. And the other one is, hey, if you wanna cover your life and change it. Yep. They can chat to you about the tone or the colour they want to change it to. Yeah, or even back in the days of just doing the spot as well, yep. whichever that is that you need to do, um, then yeah, there's, there's all sorts of options out there now. What's the best way of contacting you? Okay, you can give the office a call on the landline, which is 949 33880, the mobile 0418 914 097 or the old email system, which is info at facc.com.au. Always, always, always the Facebook page as well, you can hit us up on that. So there's more than one way to skin a cat, and we're <laughs> contactable by all means. We love technology. Franco Priel, Fresh Air Carpet Cleaning. Colouring your life and colouring your carpets, completely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>